trans athletes banned from women's events by Swim England. Now, you know that uh, e even though you it might not seem it, that the argument has been lost or won, and the, the trans athletes have lost this argument. If they, They've done polls. Can you look up a poll? What's the latest poll on trend, what people feel about trans people in sports? Some guy just entered a powerlifting competition, just said he was a woman. Because that they did happen. It's just on sports. I don't know how people thought this was going to, as if you're not a sports fan. So this is, this was a, this, I'm just saying this as a, you know, you got to pick your battles. This battle, I, what, could you have anything? Two, two thirds of Americans. So two two thirds, and th by the way, that's way of more Americans. than people that care about girls' sports. That's how bad you lost this one. Because this is the <laughs> most we've ever talked. I've ever in my life talked about women's sports ever. <laughs> I don't like any sports, I, to be honest with you. But I like figure skating. Uh, well, uh, what, you like what you, everybody li like? I like everybody watching like. women's that is one where basketball. that is one where the the footage I saw the trans woman did not beat the women at it. Figure you ever skating. See, so anyway, so. So now they're past. So by the way, I don't care if uh, if if the ladies want to compete against the trans ladies. That's up to lady. I don't have a dog in this fight. Uh, here we go. Transgender athletes have been banned from licensed women's swimming events by Swim England. The sports governing body has introduced an open category for those born male as well as trans or non-binary competitors, while a female category, category will be restricted to those with a birth sex of female. I mean, I, I'd rather watch the open category, to be honest. I'd like to watch the open category. <laughs> More than, okay. The policy comes into effect on September 1st and will apply to comp competitions under Swim England's auspices, including those organized by member regions and clubs. Swim England said hormonal therapy reduced performance advantage but was insufficient to negate it completely, and trans females, therefore, likely retain an advantage over their cisgender peers. As a result, Swim England believes the restriction of certain competition to birth sex females to be justified and proportionate in the pursuit of fair competition. You know, I just have to say something. I find it kind of interesting in that paragraph where it's go back to that paragraph, Jimmy, where it says um, uh, trans females, so insufficient to negate it completely and trans females therefore likely retain an advantage over their cisgendered peers. Why wouldn't just be females? Trans um, females therefore likely to retain phobic, an advantage over their <laughs> other females. I just think that's weird that you would have to do cisgender. So now you're, it's a new language, so I guess. So you're 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 pointing out that it's you find it odd that they're not calling them just females, <gasps> yes. but they're calling them cisgendered peers. Peers, yes. It's quite it's why sorry. the language? Well, why? Because they're waiting to get a lot of probably angry Twitter activism that come in their way. So I think that's meeting them part way. Okay. See, I'm going to use this. I, that, I've never liked yes. cisgender as a word. I don't know why that I, was assigned to me. I agree. I am bigot, but I can see why they're doing that. Qu couldn't they just say over their biological female? Yes. No, that's a little mean. <laughs> I don't like even saying female. I think it should be Jesus. called abortion people. <laughs> <laughs> if an abortion person uh, could compete, then. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the policy contains provision for self-identification at lower level events, such as recreational races. Last year, Swimming's world governing body, FINA, voted to ban those who have gone through male puberty from women's events. Is this because they don't get a lot of sponsorships? Because okay. all the sports where they get in heavy commercial sponsorships, I imagine they wouldn't make this decision. Right? Like if you got... I don't know, uh, Nike or whoever right? involved. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Because corporate America is on board for this. Yeah, how are they even able to have the auto autonomy right, to, to do, do this? That? Yeah. It comes amid controversy in the U.S. after Leah Thomas, 22-year-old, became the first transgendered swimmer to win America's top university swimming championship. <laughs> Holy F. That's right. By being so, the best. By be But she didn't win, like... I, I thought at first she just won some regional thing. She won the NCAA yeah. single or d single A or I don't know what's it called. There's the NC 
Yeah. NCAA yeah. Division One. Right. That's Division One two Division One championship in the five hundred meter. She beat everybody, <laughs> no, including I, two Olympic footage. medalists. Yeah. Well, here it's going to say. Uh, it follows similar bans announced in recent days by UK athletes and world athletics, reflecting a concerted move to keep males out of women's sports. Uh, and there it is. Swimmer Leah Thomas beat two Olympic medalists amid protests to make history as the first trans athlete to win the NCAA title. There's the other There's the other two ladies, and then here's... You remember the one girl that... <laughs> the one fuck? of those girls was like, I think it's great, and I said, oh, she's thinking of her future for her endorsements and stuff to yeah. say the right thing now. She won the 500-yard mm -hmm. freestyle swimming event at the NC. So she's the... And so, yeah, you're saying that the other ladies who went along with it mm -hmm. were going along with it because they know where their bread is buttered and they don't want to get... One was and one wasn't. One, but one, but one, the one who was, I'm like, oh, yeah. you, you're thinking ahead. Because it's not the sport, it's the endorsement, so you're going to make a living. She, be, she beat the Tokyo 2020 silver medalist. I think it's about time. And Erica Sullivan to take the win in Atlanta. Wow. Well, women so, are getting better at sports. That's how I take it. So... Track and field has banned transgender athletes from international competition and adopted new rules that could keep Castor Semenya from competing. That's from March 23rd. So this is also new. That's be, Yeah, well, that's international, right? So there's a bunch of countries that don't have our fine corporate, <laughs> you know, like uh, culture that, and, and I'm, I'm imagining, because isn't Uganda like crazy anti-gay? Never mind. I transgender. think they are. Yeah, like you can't even be gay there or something. Yeah. So I imagine there's a bunch of if you're going to be internet, like with Cotter or whatever that they Qatar were, or Qatar? Cotter. I thought it was like gutter or something. Cutter. I, think, I think they call it Cotter. I like to call it Qatar. I like to say welcome back, Cotter. <laughs> <laughs> they bring, but they had all the gay thing there, and they were like, "We're mad at Cotter." I'm like, "Well, why are you even in a sport thing with them if you're mad at how they?" Right. right. You're not going to change them. Again, I'm very pro trans. Fly you. Everybody should be able to fly their freak flag, and nobody. I, I like them better than women. I want to make that clear. I love that feminism has to deal with this so much. It's just really great watching that. I love the transgenders, uh, and I'm opposed to any uh, policy that would discriminate against them for sure. But people will still say we're we're transphobic. Like I'm afraid of a transgender. I'm not afraid, and I'm not anti. A uh, very pro, but certain looks out looks like they've lost the argument for sports. That's what I'm, that's what it looks like. It looks like well, just the people that play them might people who do any kind of athletics. They're hyper. You know, athletes take uh, hormones and all kinds of things, not to change gender, but to improve their performance. Right. So like Lance Armstrong. I had a friend, uh, well, a guy I knew in high school that was kicked out of the Olympics for losing because they found performance enhancing. Drugs for yeah, losing, yeah, P yeah, for the loot. Um, boy. for the but and um, they he was and they say the excuse about like supplement. He goes, Well, I didn't know it was in and supplement business is pretty shady sometimes right. you don't know. But I asked around, and the guy goes, Listen, nobody at that level doesn't, doesn't know, know exactly it, to the whatever right. what the hell's in there, they know what they're taking. So now you're gonna add natural <laughs> testosterone in that. You think people aren't gonna be mad that play that sport? I don't care, but I wouldn't hold it against somebody who plays. I'm a comedian. I didn't like when people tell me how comedy's supposed to go. I know. Who are not in my job. What are you going to tell women in sports? Anyway, so that's the big news. Look, it looks, it appears. We'll see. We'll see what, what, what happens. Go Two thirds of Americans. It's just such a stupid thing. It, there's this really stupid thing where, like, it's almost like America. It's very American. It's like, what? no, it's going to be all the way how we say. <laughs> And no compromise because we're the world power. We have the burden of empire. It's like that mentality that w we just push into these like bad battles. How come there hasn't been another Dr. Renee Richards? Remember that? That was the transgender tennis player from the late 70s, early 80s. Oh, I don't remember. Dr. Renee Richards was uh, transgendered. And um, I, you would think there would be more. Did Renee Richards beat the women at it? Uh, you know what? Uh, that wasn't that good at tennis. Oh, I, that's <laughs> it's once it gets to the competition part when it's. A I mean, game she won interest. some stuff, but I don't think she won a lot. Can you look up Dr. Renee Richards' Hi. victories? I uh, just want to see the men 
complaining about these hey, sorry, all doctor- navy tennis championship awards and honor new york state clay court title 1964 no. r- ranked six nationally in the usta men's 35 of the division. As, as a man oh but what about as a woman oh okay yeah was it even a competitive was it even a a, a controversy i don't i don't remember it was all navy look at that you know how you know how na- the navy is known for their tennis <laughs> yeah, I, I know. It was the first time hearing of it, but congrats. Uh, hey, Suri, did Dr. Renee Richards win any female tennis championships? Suri won't even answer. Even Suri's afraid afraid to talk about trans issues. Well, <laughs> you see, gender. <laughs> gender and six. Ginger and six is used as a weapon. I watched that guy again from the... Boy, the, the, I watched it again, too. It's like funny. sniveling. Uh, you don't have people preparing you in case... In case someone asks you what a woman is. The mo- by the way, the most important question of the century for any politician. <laughs> <laughs> no, we still haven't found no. Mm-mm. No female. I found anything. If I was running for anything, I'm like, get to work writing me a goddamn definition of a woman in case some... Okay, right? Some Catholic boy asks me... <laughs> Hey, Suri, did Dr. Renee Richards win any female tennis championships? Oh, fucking Suri. Go to JimmyDore.com to see my new stand-up special, COVID Lies Are Funny. For only $10, you get to become a premium member, too. And come see us do our live shows. We're going to be doing stand-up comedy in Milwaukee, Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, New York, Coho's, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Maryland, and more. Go to JimmyDore.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm -hmm. 